Hey Polish fans, welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. Today I'm happy to present to you a showcase of some of my favorites from Glam Polish. In case you're not familiar with it, Glam Polish is an indie polish made in Australia. Um, they are, however, pretty easy to get here in the States as they do have a US distributor. So today I'm going to show you a few of my favorites for them. And if you don't see a color here that is on your favorites, make sure to check out some of my videos from Polish Pickup favorites and unique polishes as there are definitely some glam polishes in those videos as well. So let's dive right in to the first glam polish that we're gonna showcase here. And this is a Night in Terror Tower. This one was one of their Halloween limited editions from last year. And this one I was able to get, I believe, on the second release. So this is a beautiful, deep, purpley blurple. As you can see in the bottle, it's showing this really deep purple, but once you get it on the nail swatch, it turns into this blurple, and it is loaded with rainbow iridescent flakies, and you've got scattered holographic. It's beautiful, a very deep color. And those iridescent flakies, I believe she used a few different kinds in here. You have some that are shifting in the blue and purple range. And then you have ones like this over here that are shifting to that really hot green, which I really like. There we go. There's a few more towards the edges of the bottle. So very beautiful mix. Lovely scattering of that holographic component. And again, on the nail, you can see that that is definitely turning into that purpley blue tone. So absolutely gorgeous. This one would uh, look nice as a galaxy mani. And again, that one was a night in terror tower. Up next is this delicate little color, Always Be a Unicorn, such a cute name. So this one is this very soft lilac color, and it has these hot pink matte glitters in it, and an iridescent flaky that is this blue to purple shift, and it's also got shifting shimmer and very small particle scattered holographic. So this is a lovely one for spring, unique with that mix of the components that she's used. Very cute little mix. I love it when they use contrasting materials in the polish so you get a nice showcase of the glitters against the backdrop. And this one is nice and delicate on the nail, but those hot pink glitters add a little something extra to make this a nice fun polish. So again, this one was always be a unicorn. Up next is American Poltergeist, and this was another one of the limited editions released in the Halloween collection last year. At least I think it was last year. This is another beautiful deep purple polish loaded with shifting shimmer and iridescent flakies and scattering holographic. This is a beautiful deep purple color and all of those components really show off on the nail. And this one is definitely more of a bright toned deep purple, whereas this one definitely is a blurply and much darker tone of purple. And this one has that shifting shimmer. It's going to shift to green with those 
iridescent flakies that shift to blue and pink, gold, yellow. I think I see a little bit of orange in there as well. Very beautiful mix. So this one was American Poltergeist. And up next was one of my lemmings for a very long time. This one is an unexpected journey. I had this on my wish list probably since, oh goodness, two years ago, more than that maybe. And I saw swatches of it on Pinterest and every time I went to the website it was sold out. And I finally was able to get a hold of it on one of her restocks. And this is a beautiful topper. You can probably wear it on its own, as you can see here, but it will be sheer since the base is sheer. But you have this gorgeous mix of shifting iridescent glitters in a variety of sizes. You also have holographic components in there as well. You can see that a little bit better against the black side of the snail swatch. But just look at the glow of those glitters. Absolutely stunning. And what I love about these particular glitters is how different they look against different colors. So as you can see against the naked nail ring here, you're seeing more of the pastel shifts with a little bit of aqua and pink coming out, a little bit of purple there at the edge. But once you put it over a darker color, it turns into this fiery glow that shifts from bright gold to orange. And it is so pretty. Polishes like this also look amazing over a variety of colors. So I would imagine wearing this over, say, a deep blue or a deep purple or neons would make for a really, really fun manicure. You can see some of the yellow shifting down there toward the, towards the edge of the bottle. Gorgeous polish. And again, this one was an unexpected journey. Up next is this one, Faith, Trust, and a little bit of Pixie Dust. This one was part of the one of their Disney collections. I I'm not really sure how many they have, but I'm pretty sure this was part of their Disney collection. And this is another purple polish. I have said before, I am definitely a sucker for purple polishes. And this is such a lovely shade. And another one that is absolutely chock full of holographic glitters and shifting iridescent flakies. Look at that contrast of the blue against that purple base. So, so, so pretty. Purple is definitely one of those colors that holds the largest spot color-wise in my collection for sure. And this is such a beautiful one. Very delicate on the nail but not so pale that you can't tell that it's still a lovely shade of purple. And all of that holographic is going to add a little bit of depth to that color. Very pretty. And again, this one was Faith, Trust, and a little bit of Pixie Dust. Next one is Grindelwald. This one is from one of the releases of the Harry Potter collections. This is this very nice shade of soft sage green. And it has those iridescent uh, flakies that shift to green that I love so much. You can see the electric green, bright yellow, and some scattered holographic as well. Such a beautiful mix. Very unique shade for sure. It's definitely on the grayed outside of sage green. Very pretty. 
Love that contrast between those electric flakies and the very soft cream base. And again, this one was Grindelwald. Up next is one of my absolute favorites. I myself am strange and unusual. And this polish has such a glow to it. It is super impressive. It is another purple polish, go figure. <laughs> and it is loaded with holographic and shifting shimmer. And the base is this beautiful, deep, deep purpley blurple multi-chrome base. Absolutely gorgeous. And just look at how it glows on the nail. Very impressed with this one. It just glows. I just can't get over it. It is beautiful. There's a good shot of some of that shift towards the top of the bottle and all of that holographic glitter. Really pretty. show a little bit of that shift. You can see it go through deep blue to purple and a little bit of fuchsia. Gorgeous. And again this one was I myself am strange and unusual. The next one is Imperio. This was another one of the Harry Potter collection. I'm pretty sure that's another one that they have a few releases of. This one is this beautiful purple polish that is also leaning towards the blurply side of things. And I think that's part due to the shifting shimmer that you have in there, shifting to this aqua and blue. You've also got a lot of iridescent flakies in there and a little bit of scattered holographic. And just look at the bottle. That is so beautiful. This is another one that is so stunning on the nail. Very rich, deep color. She is so good at mixing components to make this complex polish that is absolutely beautiful. There's a good angle of that shift in that shimmer. Absolutely gorgeous. And again, that one was Imperio. And the next one is It Won't Cost Much, Just Your Voice. And this was most likely from one of their other Disney collections. This is another purple. Surprise, surprise. This one is a very, very deep base. And what I really like about it is it has those matte glitters in it that add a beautiful contrast. And then it has these deep blue and purple shifting flakies. And you've got Aurora shimmer in there as well. It's going to shift from red to gold. Beautiful, beautiful polish. And really unique. Look at that. So pretty. So this one was It Won't Cost Much, Just Your Voice. Up next is another one that absolutely glows. And that one is It's Showtime. This one is this beautiful deep teal green base. And it is loaded with this shifting shimmer, a bunch of holographic glitters. And I really can't tell in this one if it's the base that is the multi-chrome, or if it's the shimmer, or if it's both. But in any case, look at the glow on the nail. That purple just pounces off of that base. You've got this deep, 
murky green tone as the base of that color and all of that glimmering iridescent and hollow just jumps off of the nail. So complex, really beautiful and very unique, very unique to my collection. I love this one. And again, this one was It's Showtime. Up next is Knights of the Old Republic. This is one of the newer releases that I have from Glam Polish. And this is this beautiful, dusty mauve that leans towards the darker tone. And it is loaded with this shifting shimmer and scattered holographic. Very nice polish. Look at that red glow there. Very nice color on the nail. I think this one would be beautiful in the fall. Lovely, lovely color. Let's see if that, we can't get that gold to show off a little towards the edge of the bottle. Oh, there we go. I love the grayed out tone to this, and yet it still comes off very rich on the nail. Very nice color. And again, this one was Knights of the Old Republic. Up next is this one, Life's Full of Tough Choices in it. And this came out in the same collection as It Won't Cost Much, Just Your Voice. I'm pretty sure at least, because they're said by the same person in The Little Mermaid. And look at this gorgeous, gorgeous color. It is this really deep purple loaded with this iridescent glitter. And look at the edge of that bottle. Shifts through all of those colors of gold, red, green, yellow. So pretty. And you've got some holographic in there. Ooh, look at that side of the bottle. That's a wow right there. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Love the contrast of that glitter against that deep purple base. And this is how it's going to look on the nail. All of that shifting glitter. So, so pretty. Hmm. So gorgeous. And again, this one was Life's Full of Tough Choices in it. Look, you can see a little bit of the aqua and green come out on this side. So pretty. Next, we're going to look at Somebody to Love. This is another one that has components in it that just makes it glow. You've got this multi-chrome base that shifts from purple to, I want to say, green and blue. You've got all of those beautiful iridescent flakies and holographic in there. Look at those flakies. You've got yellow and gold, and pink, purple. Gorgeous. And here's how that looks on the nail. Really pretty. Very rich, glowy color. Just a beautiful mix of those flakies against that really rich base. And again, this one was Somebody to Love. Up next is Urban Legend. This is another in the Halloween Limited Edition release. And this is a lovely gray polish that is packed with rainbow multi-chrome flakies iridescent flakies, scattered hollow, and shifting shimmer. Absolutely loaded. 
And as you know, I love a gray polish. So this one was one that I really wanted to get a hold of. And look at how complex that is. All of those different components play very well together on the nail. Lovely, lovely polish. And that shifting shimmer is gonna show up pink. And I believe it shifts to a little bit of gold. There we go. And green. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Little rainbow in a bottle against a beautiful gray base. And again, that one was Urban Legend. Up next is Vitamin C. And this is this beautiful turquoise jelly base loaded with iridescent flakies and holographic. Beautiful color. And as you can see on the nail ring, I did half painted over black, so all of those flakies pop. And then half over the naked nail ring so that you can see that color. It's a very beautiful sea blue aqua color. And all of that holographic really sparkles in that base. Very, very pretty. Love colors like this as well. And again, that one was vitamin C. C spelled like the ocean. And last in this showcase of glam polish is another gray one. Why couldn't it be Follow the Butterflies? And here's another gorgeous light gray polish with a bunch of iridescent flakies and multicone flakies and holographic. It's gorgeous. I love this one as well. And here's just a little comparison between the other gray polish, Urban Legend. And while they seem like they would be very similar, the Urban Legend has a lot more of that multi-chrome flaky, whereas Why Couldn't It Be Follow the Butterflies has a lot of iridescent flakies in there as well. So you're going to get a very different look on the nail. And of course, since I love gray nail polish, this one was one that I was very happy to get. I believe I got this one in a D stash. Just look at the glow of that shifting shimmer and all of that holographic. Very pretty. So again, this one was Why Couldn't It Be Follow the Butterflies? And that's it for our Glam Polish Showcase. Hope you enjoyed. Please uh, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below about which one was your favorite or which is your favorite of the Glam Polish releases. And we'll see you in that next video.